the retailers make it like a million. But if retailers make it a million, no one will buy it. Right? $850 for just a hat. Just a hat. Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video, Gaten here. In today's video, I will be talking about one of the most famous Roblox series of all time. An item dating back all the way to 2007's Sparkle Time Fedora, all the way to the last made Sparkle Time Fedora, the 11th Sparkle Time Fedora, the White Sparkle Time Fedora. This is going from the beginning to the end. This is going to be a long but interesting story. Anyways, let's get right into it. Sparkle Time Fedora was published by Shedletsky on December 23rd, 2007. Sparkle Time Fedora came out of the Glittering Gold Gift of Fame. Glittering Gold Gift of Fame was given to players with a profile visit count of 1337 or higher. Roblox had about 130,000 total accounts, so achieving 1337 visits during this timeline was actually a decent amount. Glittering Gold Gift of Fame could also be obtained for 250 Robux. Sparkle Time Fedora had 765 total copies upon release in 2007. There is currently only 311 available copies, which means 59% of the copies have been lost, which is crazy considering that means if you own Sparkle Time Fedora in 2007, you would have more odds of losing it than still owning it. Roblox paid Mike Rayhawk under $3,000 for everything he did on the platform, which most popularly includes creating the Roblox logo. Mike Rayhawk owns the Sparkle Time Fedora, which he did not even know that he owned until recently, and he realized that he could sell it on the catalog for 875,000 Robux after fees, which he could then develop or exchange for up to $2,800 USD. Mike Rayhawk now states on Twitter, I created the Roblox logo and this single random hat I didn't even know I had was worth more money than everything they paid me the entire time I worked for them. Purple Sparkle Time Fedora was the first retexture of its counterpart Sparkle Time Fedora and it would take 4 years after the release of Sparkle Time Fedora for it to receive a retexture. Pie Person 50 had cancer and used his make a wish to visit the Roblox headquarters on October 3rd, 2011. Pie Person 50 and Shedletsky worked together on creating the Purple Sparkle Time Fedora. Pie Person 50 was rewarded with a domino crown for helping Shedletsky. Purple Sparkle Time Fedora was published on October 3rd, 2011, literally not long after they finished working on it. Purple Sparkle Time Fedora had a low stock of 100 copies compared to its counterpart Sparkle Time Fedora which received over 600. The Purple Sparkle Time Fedora could be purchased for 10,000 Robux. Pie Person 50, the person that also helped to work on the Purple Sparkle Time Fedora, is now one of the most controversial users on the Roblox platform. Some of his highlights are Black Market selling 68 million in limiteds over the course of a few months, and Roblox did literally nothing in response. And then if that wasn't bad enough, he copied large developers games so he would basically see if one developer made a game and he would completely rip it off to basically maximize profit. And then he would go into games and he would scam and he would also attempt to scam some of the richest Roblox players. Oddly, Pie Person 50 was never banned through all of the things that he's done wrong. He's broke multiple guidelines and nothing has happened. Red Sparkle Time Fedora was published to the catalog on February 14th, 2012 as part of celebration for Valentine's Day. Red Sparkle Time Fedora came in at 10,000 Robux with having a limited stock of 100 copies basically the same price in stock as the purple sparkle time fedora before it. There is currently 18 red sparkle time fedoras left. 
80% of red sparkle time fedoras have been lost, which is slightly higher majority of lost copies than its counterpart purple sparkle time fedora, which has lost nearly 70% of its copies. There's 14 more purple sparkle time fedoras than red sparkle time fedoras. Red Sparkle Time Fedora is currently the most expensive Sparkle Time Fedora and the most rare. Red Sparkle Time Fedora managed to have 6 copies hoarded in 2019 out of the 18 copies. Green Sparkle Time Fedora was published on March 17, 2012. Green Sparkle Time Fedora was made in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. Green Sparkle Time Fedora had a limited stock of 100 copies for sale. It also could have been purchased for 10,000 Robux, so it follows the trend as the Red Sparkle Time Fedora as well as the Purple Sparkle Time Fedora. Green Sparkle Time Fedora only has 39 available copies remaining of the original stock of 100. 61% of Green Sparkle Time Fedoras have been lost. Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora had a limited stock of 100 copies for sale on June 21st, 2013 as part of the very first Midnight Sale on Roblox. As over time, more Midnight Sales would be released, which would introduce one of my favorite Roblox Limiteds, Dominus Astra. Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora would cost users 50,000 Robux. Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora was the most expensive Sparkle Time Fedora that had been released at that time in 2013. Sparkle Time Fedoras costed 10,000 Robux or less, and Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora came in at 50,000 Robux. I personally believe Roblox increased the price for the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora because as more users came to Roblox and bought Robux, that meant Robux was far less valuable than before. And then Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora currently has 33 total copies left of the original 100. 67% of Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedoras have been lost. Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora had a hoard of 7 copies in 2019. The upcoming Sparkle Time Fedoras had larger hoards than this that weren't even comparable in size. Teal Sparkle Time Fedora had a limited stock of 100 copies for sale on February 21st, 2014. Teal Sparkle Time Fedora currently has 52 copies left, lost 48% of its total copies. Orange Sparkle Time Fedora appeared on sale on February 13th, 2015 as part of the mini sale. Odd to think an item so expensive came from a mini sale. Orange Sparkle Time Fedora had a limited supply of 100 copies and could be purchased for up to 50,000 Robux. So basically the same price and quantity as Teal Sparkle Time Fedora which came out before the Orange Sparkle Time Fedora and also the same as the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora which came out before the Teal Sparkle Time Fedora. Orange Sparkle Time Fedora currently has 39 copies available out of the original 100. That means that 61% of Orange Sparkle Time Fedoras have disappeared in 7 years. I see this to be really impressive considering it took Green Sparkle Time Fedora 3 more years just to lose as many copies as the Orange Sparkle Time Fedora. Black Sparkle Time Fedora came out on June 19th, 2015. Black Sparkle Time Fedora could be purchased for up to 60,000 Robux. Black Sparkle Time Fedora only had 100 copies for sale. Black Sparkle Time Fedora is similar to Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora because they were both released for a midnight sale. Interestingly, the first Midnight Sale introduced the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora and the last Midnight Sale introduced Black Sparkle Time Fedora. Sparkle Time Fedoras typically had the price dramatically increased over time. For example, Green Sparkle Time Fedora would cost users 10,000 Robux, and when the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora came out next year, it would cost users 50,000 Robux. People really expected that the Black Sparkle Time Fedora would cost users either 50,000 Robux like the Orange Sparkle Time Fedora before it, or up to 100,000 Robux, so its price at 60k was just very odd. 
Black Sparkle Time Fedora currently has 35 available copies out of the original 100 copies, making this the fastest Sparkle Time Fedora in terms of losing copies. Putting this in perspective, Purple Sparkle Time Fedora, made five years earlier, only had lost two more copies. Black Sparkle Time Fedora had a hoard of up to 12 copies in 2020, and I do believe if this hoard continued to rise, Black Sparkle Time Fedora could have easily become the most expensive Sparkle Time Fedora. Pink Sparkle Time Fedora went up on sale December 31st, 2015 for up to 100,000 Robux. 100 available copies could be purchased by users. Pink Sparkle Time Fedora was the price the community expected the Black Sparkle Time Fedora to cost. Pink Sparkle Time Fedora was introduced as part of celebration for New Year's Eve, which is why it fell on sale on December 31st. Roblox only has 5 out of 11 Sparkle Time Fedoras to be released, confirmed as part of a holiday, for example with Red Sparkle Time Fedora stating that it was made for Valentine's Day, and Green Sparkle Time Fedora stating that it was made for the St. Patrick's Day. Now both of these items were put on sale all the way back in 2012, and seeing that the pink Sparkle Time Fedora was the next item being made for a real world event, almost three years later was very interesting and this was proven to be the renewal of event sparkle time fedoras as more would come after this pink sparkle time fedora only has 44 copies left of the original 100 copies 44 percent of the copies have been lost in seven years it had the largest hoard ever a design of a darker shade of pink more close to the color of an item like CW Ultimate, Rose Quartz, Rebellion, however they ultimately decided on the brighter pink shade. Sky Blue Sparkle Time Fedora went up on sale on September 4th, 2016 for up to 100,000 Robux, with 100 available copies for purchase. Sky Blue Sparkle Time Fedora came out as part of the Labor Day sale, and this was the first Sparkle Time Fedora introduced for a Labor Day sale. Sky Blue Sparkle Time Fedora currently has 45 copies remaining of the original 100, meaning 56% of Sky Blue Sparkle Time Fedoras were lost in 6 years. White Sparkle Time Fedora was published to the Avatar Shop on September 3rd, 2017 for up to 100,000 Robux, the stock of 5,000 copies available to purchase on a 2 hour timer. After the 2 hour timer ended, 306 copies had sold. White Sparkle Time Fedora is the second Sparkle Time Fedora in the series to have a quantity higher than 100 copies. You've probably been really confused as to why in every single Sparkle Time Fedora I've had to state that the item had 100 copies, because the majority of them do. I believe that they wanted to give everybody the opportunity to purchase White Sparkle Time Fedora, and that's why it had such a high stock. Maybe everyone deserved a chance to buy it who could afford it, just to basically reward users. Sparkle Time Fedora is also the second Sparkle Time Fedora released for a Labor Day sale, following in the order of Sky Blue Sparkle Time Fedora, which was released for the very first Labor Day sale a year beforehand. White Sparkle Time Fedora surprisingly did really well after the sale, which was a, it was a shock, considering that White Sparkle Time Fedora had such a high stock, but it was selling for up to 150,000 Robux on the catalog compared to the original price of only 100,000 Robux. Today's video is sponsored by me, myself, and I. Yes, me. The video is literally sponsored by me. Well, anyways, you're probably wondering, well, what product are you selling today, Gain? And I'm very, very excited to tell you what product that is. The product that I'm selling is actually completely free. And you're probably wondering, well, what is free in this world, Gaten? And to answer your question, just about absolutely nothing, because not even water in restaurants is free anymore. But the point being is, is that for about zero dollars and zero cents, you can subscribe to my channel now to see quality content. Totally unbiased opinion, by the way.